The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to uh, the uh, November 6th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader's Edge show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Hey, let's make sure we have an extraordinary day. Yep, an extraordinary day. And the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us, not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I are going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We're going to go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I just past 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But much more important than that, during the next 60 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. You can dial on in at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, we've got you covered there, too. Just send me an email, steve at tfn.com. But uh, please send it early. Not often, but early. And uh, please put radio show question in the uh, subject heading. And, of course, in our Tiger's Den, well, any ping will do. So let's go ahead and get this show started on wonderful Wednesday. Of course, this is Tiger Financial News Network. I'm Steve Rhodes. Welcome to Lush Show. Right now, we got all the indices in the red. You've got the Dow off 50 points, trading out of 27,442, less than two tenths of a percent to the downside. Same with the S&P 500. NDX 100 is off a half a percent and three quarters of a percent in the Russell 2000. They're down 38 and 12 points, respectively. The semis are off one and a quarter percent, off about 22 points. That's trading out at 1708. Spot volatility index is uh, relatively uh, muted. It's uh, up 15 pennies, a little over 1%, trading out at 1325. Gold's up 950, trading at 1493. Silver is up two pennies. Light sweet crude off 87 cents, leading the charge to the upside. Insolite Corp, P O D D, is the ticker symbol. It's up over 10%, 15 bucks. Constellation Pharmaceuticals up 14 bucks, or 96%. They have obviously cured something. InnoSpec. Or maybe it's IPO today. Uh, InnoSpec is up 11% uh, or 10 bucks. Humana up 10. To the downside, it's next cure off 24 bucks. Trading now, uh, it's 26 percent as well. Trading out at 68. GW Pharma off 23 bucks. Any Pharmaceuticals down 17. Booking Holdings 17. Riata Pharmaceuticals 16. A lot of pharmaceuticals to the uh, downside. So. Uh, let's begin with a request that came in uh, late last night. Uh, the ticker symbol is AEP. Let's go take a look, and then we'll go to the general markets. Actually, we're going to do this, then Palladium, and then we'll go to the general markets out here. So this is American Electric Power. And um, and I don't remember the exact question because it came at about 9 o'clock last night, but uh, uh, here's what we know. With regard to profiles out here, uh, yesterday was a close below support. That was the bottom of its daily profile, 92.32. That then takes us over to the weekly to say where's the next level of support. Well, on the weekly time frame, it's a bearish structured box and price is trading below 93.14. 93.14 is the center of that bearish structured box. This would suggest sellers should be able to push price down to 89.63. Whether that holds a support or not, we don't know. And the monthly chart, not really helping us uh, from the standpoint of a profile uh, because uh, that profile is priced at 75.88. It's trading at 91.81. All right, so what does all that mean out there? Well, this suggests here, just looking at profiles, anticipate to move back to 89.63. Let's go look at the daily time frame chart using Stevie's other tools out here, see what we see, and uh, we don't see a whole heck of a lot different than what we just looked at other than it gives us a price objective of 90.28. That is a support level on the way down. So 90.28, 89.63 is very likely where AEP is headed to. Now, from a monthly perspective, although the month is not over, it looks like we're going to have a TD setup nine count pattern out here. Um, last time we saw a TD setup nine count pattern, the uh, AEP moved lower for about five months out there. So at this stage here, looks like lower price. The key is 
is going to be 90.33. That's Stevie's green line on the monthly time frame chart. A close below that suggests lower price should continue. Let's go out to um, to Newark, New Jersey, and speak with Adam. Adam, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good, good. The first one I'm looking for is uh, PLT. I see it gaps back to 2009 at 19. And then the next stock I'm going to ask for is Myelin Labs, MYO. We'll so what are you PLT what are you trying today. to do? Sure, what are you trying to do with Plantronics, PLT? Make some make some money, some cheese. So you're trying I to buy? It? Can it go back to 2009? There's a gap there, 19. And it go to. Uh, well, uh, uh, it, sure. It, 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 oh, of, uh, well, look, it can, it can uh, head back. I don't see the gap. I'm looking at a monthly time frame chart, so you may be looking at a daily or what have you. But here's what we yeah, know. So let's just take like let's take a look at Plantronics. Uh, and Plantronics gap to the downside, gigantic uh, gap to the downside today. Straight out of 2338 volume is 5.7 million shares. It's taking out swing points on a, a weekly basis with volume. Uh, looks like it's taking them out on a monthly basis uh, with volume as well. So now uh, what we would have to really do out here is uh, see some type of bottoming pattern before I could suggest that you get in on this thing. And I don't, I just simply don't have that. When I take a look at the daily time frame chart, let me look at the longer, look like, at Look at the uh, monthly out here. And uh, and the only way for me to be able to really assist you, this is form a TD setup nine count top out here. Um, so that's a normal pattern. Uh, I think this has got much further to move to the downside or at least a number of days before any kind of bottoming signal or pattern. So I, I, at this stage here, I say you gotta you should stay away from uh, Plantronics Inc. out there. What was your second I, symbol? Uh, M M Y L. M Y L. So let's see what this one looks like today. That is Myelin Pharmaceuticals, I believe. Myelin and V yep. out here. Boy, also moving lower and uh, trading below the uh, daily profile that formed yesterday. Now below the weekly. Uh, let me get my other charts fired up here. And you're trying to do a little bottom fishing. And so in order to do bottom fishing, we really want to see some type of bottoming pattern or signal. Well, right Could, right now, ahead. institutionals are selling for tax losses. So I think. Well, um, okay, but, uh, you know, there's a lot of them dumping it. I mean, there's some damage that's being done here. If Mylan, if Mylan today closed below 1727, uh, and that's its support level out there, so you're trading at 1722 right now, um, it just tells you that it wants to, technically speaking, tells you that it wants to continue to move lower out here. And, uh, you know, where's that lower price out here? Look, if it clears the uh, 1549 area, it gets all the way back into the 2008 lows out there. So the only way that I could give you the coast is clear sign would be to, su would be to see some type of a bottom pattern well, out here. What I'm and I don't, seeing I don't is we're one. going back to 2009 on everything because there's gaps all over and they're starting to get you, you. You don't see four stocks can't keep up the whole stock market. You know what I mean? All these little ones are going back to 2008 or nine. I've been doing my research. Those gaps on Plantronics to this nine dollars probably next well, by February will be nine dollars. No, so. no problem. So you're in that camp. I am so far away from that camp. We're not going back well, to 2008 free right now, anytime when, soon. When they but, tighten hey, up the dollar and the dollars disappear. Adios, yeah. baby. Okay. Hey, good to talk to you. Thanks for calling in. We're about to go to a hard break. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so yesterday, uh, one of our dinners, uh, Ruby in the Tiger's Den, they wanted to take a look at Palladium. And we did look at it uh, with regard to the TAS market profiles, but I didn't have the instrument in my other system out there. And uh, so I said that I would come back to it. I don't know if she's listening today. But here, if we take a look at Palladium, we can see that this has formed that Rhodes Momentum Indicator topping pattern. It did it uh, two days ago when it created that little bear sash candle out here. That's one of the requirements of that. That pattern out here. Now, what this tells us is that uh, sellers should be able to push price down to 1630 out here. Now, before price would get to 1630, there's a support level, which is the bottom of that profile at 1712. So we've got a valid topping pattern. Price is already below Stevie's green line. The next role of sellers is to push price down to the next level of support. That next level of support is 1712. Then below that is where price had originally broken out, and that was at the 1630 area. Area. That's what the daily time frame chart for Palladium is telling us out there. And if we look at the weekly time frame chart, it has a valid TD setup nine count. That high can come on bars eight, nine, or the bar following nine. This was the bar following nine. Now, in this case here, the responsibility of sellers is to push price down to support. The first level of support that we see on a weekly basis is 1719. That is Stevie's green line. If price closes below 1719 on a weekly basis, well, the next level of support is 1595. That's the top of its weekly profile. And then you've got 1447, where price had originally broken out on a weekly basis for palladium out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at palladium using Stevie's other tools. And speaking of Stevie's other tools, we go take a look at the general markets out here. This is a new tool that I'm working on. I've been upgrading my machine and software and have my programmers uh, working steadily at uh, getting some of these things fixed here. But you and I, we spend time really wanting to do two things, right? We want to buy bottoms and we want to sell tops out there. And so what I'm doing is really trying to automate a lot of those top and bottom signal tools that 
uh, we use here on the show. And this, this is showing you an example of one of those tools. We take a look at the uh, TD setup nine count patterns out here. You can see all the ones that are highlighted in green um, would either be in counts eight or nine. Now these are as of yesterday. Ninja Trader has a problem with the way that it closes the bars. So it's only showing me uh, the count as of yesterday. And it's one of the things my programmer is working on. Now these are all topping signals out there. When the markets move lower, we'll look for those bottom signals to uh, show up. But this is important because if you take a look at all the cash indices, not all of them, including the XAU out there, um, uh, th they've they all formed TD setup nine count top. So it suggests that a top is near. But we have to do further research on that. When I say further research, we have to understand where their support levels are because that's really what any type of topping signal is going to communicate to us. But before we go do that and walk you through that process, let's go out to Martinez, California, and speak with Brent. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Do we have Brent? Getting over, hey getting over a little bit of a cold, but I'm doing okay. How about yourself? I am doing uh, well, thank you. Um, let's see. Do I have the right symbols? The GPOR is that what you want to look at? Gulfport Energy. Yeah, it's a stock that I actually got out of on, <clears throat> excuse me, on Monday. Okay. Uh, I bought it around 250, and I sold at 360. My my question about it is there, <clears throat> excuse me, is there a, a level of a retracement that would make sense to? You know, consider uh, uh, getting back in it. Okay, so one of the levels that I would I would consider. Uh, Brent, if this will pull back, would right now is about 304. And 304 is Stevie's green line level. So uh, the day that you sold out, perhaps, was a couple days ago. So on November 5th out there, um, as as that bar was forming, it was bringing its price oscillator up to zero. And the, the way that I know that is because my line changes color and it went from red to green. There's a phenomena that typically takes place when the price oscillator gets to zero, and that is that price and my green line level currently at 304 will catch up to each other. So it's somewhere in between 304 and where it's trading right now because, um, you know, the line can continue to move up. But that would be the retracement area because that would be a bullish test. When the line turns green, the price oscillator is above zero. Ideally, you see a test of the oscillator and change line. That's the what I refer to as Stevie's green or red line out there. And a bullish test is a test and a bounce off of it, which would then set up a move to higher price and probably an A to B equals CD pattern. With regard to profiles, it's 308. That would be the top of its uh, daily profile. And it's 320, which is the top of its weekly profile out there. So that's what I would see as uh, logical places to consider uh, taking another trade inside of Gulfport Energy. Okay. <clears throat> Do you have time to take a look at Cliff's uh yeah. What's that? What's that? CLF. Okay. CLF yeah. is the uh, ticker symbol. And uh, so let's go take a look at it. Now, in this case here, are you in it? Um, tell me what you're doing. I don't have any position in this one. I actually haven't owned it for a long time. Just same kind of question. Is there a level that, uh, you know, to consider that, that it could get down to a support level that would be worth, you know, at least taking a look at it? Two. So there's two levels out here, Brent, that we can take a look at outside of the market profiles. And so when we take a look at uh, uh, Cliff, CLF, folks, we'll see that this has a confirmed TD setup nine count top. Uh, bar eight was the high that was on November the 4th. And now because it's a valid topping pattern, uh, what sellers should be able to do, the first test is going to be push price down to 717 or very close to that level. That is the oscillator and change line. Brent, if you see a uh, price uh, close below 717, then the next logical area is where price had broken out from, and that would be $6.82. But price should move back to Stevie's red line, um, another 15 cents or so to the uh, downside side and you also have it 692 so we got 692 and 682 682 where it broke out 692 the bottom of the daily profile 713 is the bottom of the weekly profile so those would be the levels that I would be watching for inside of uh, ticker symbol CLF okay very good I appreciate it Steve hey you bet yeah, have, a, have, have a great day and, and again thank you very much for your help uh, my pleasure. We're sending you a bunch of uh, Vicks Vapor Rub to help you out with <laughs> I'm that. I'm doing color. okay. I'm hanging in there. All right. Take okay. care, Steve. Okay. You bet. Hey, let's go to uh, Ron in Denver. Ron, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you? Hello. Yep, I'm here. I'm still here. Perfect. 
Ron, it's Steve. Tell me what I can do for you. Do we have you? Hello. Yes. Yes. Is this Steve? Ron, this is Steve. Well, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, this, what, I bought calls on Nugget this morning, N-U-G-T. Yes. And I just wondered, what are your thoughts on gold? It, it's a, get, I figured it'd be a reflex rally. How high will it go? How long will it last? Okay, so let's go take a look at it. Uh, we'll take a look at gold. And what we're going to do here is we're going to take a look at the uh, the bottom that formed in gold on a 30-minute time frame because that was with the Rhodes Momentum Indicator um, uh, bottom pattern out here. It did it yesterday at around 2 o'clock in the afternoon. How high can this go? And this is a 30-minute time frame chart out here. The first thing that we should see, well, we're about to go to a heartbreak, no, a heartbreak out here. So please uh, hold on the line. We'll come back in just a few minutes. We'll continue to look at the gold contract and nugget. Uh, we should see gold pull back into about the 1490 area it's trading at 1492 right now but we'll be right back thank you sir yep. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're on the line with Ron in Denver. We're actually taking yes. a look at the gold yeah, contract. You know, yep. Let me off your way. Okay, I'm still here. Yep, 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 we got you. So the price area where it looks like gold will bounce to is in the 1495 
to 1499 level. Those would be the first places that I would be looking at. You're 1492, so it's just a few bucks north of where we're at, anywhere from three to seven dollars. Now, 1499 is the top of the 60-minute profile out there. When we went to break, as we we're going to break, we we're looking at where did the bottom come in and what pattern was generated. It was on a 30-minute time frame chart out there, um, and if Price is able to close above those levels. So 14.99 is both the top of the 60-minute profile, and on a daily basis, it's my oscillator unchanged line value area. So that's why I say 14.99 seems like the area where price would find resistance. If price is able to close above that, then I just simply resort back to my 30-minute time frame chart, the one that identified the bottom, to then answer the question: Well, what will it be to identify the top. And this says that price could get all the way up to 1507. And there would be just a natural retracement or bounce back up to resistance. That's where price had broken down yesterday on the 30 minute time frame chart for gold. So that's what it looks like to me. Okay, thank you very much. Oh, by the way, that was a brilliant call saying that gold was going to make that kind of major drop back around 1485 that you said about a week ago. Well, and, uh, uh, good, good. I think there's many more several major drops that we'll see, but we'll just take things one step at a time. And by one step at a time, in order for those other major drops to take place, we know that gold has to close below the bottom of its uh, daily profile. And uh, at that and, the, and that level, by the way, for everybody watching, is uh, 1482.40. That's what the profile is at this moment out here. So right now, just a little bit of a counter trend rally, but it could certainly extend itself up to those levels that we took a look at. All right, my friend? Thank you, sir. Appreciate it very much. You Thank bet. You. you bet. That was Ron in Denver. Uh, thanks so much for calling. So uh, before, um, uh, so we were, well, I was trying to get back to what it was we were looking at before. So here, again, here's a, and what this tool here is to be used for, for subscribers, for myself, others, and so forth, is really to be able to uh, scan every single stock and instrument out there for every kind of time frame uh, that we want to be able to uh, trade and look for things that are topping or bottoming out there, utilizing this pattern. I've also, I'm also in the process of automating the uh, Chapman wave counts out here. And that's what this is. This still has more work to do. This is just a prototype number one out there. Um, but I'll be able to open up any chart and automatically drop those counts as well as these TD counts, as well as the Rhodes momentum indicator, so that we can do some bottom fishing, which is really our first call. Victor uh, from New Jersey was calling, and he was trying to do some bottom fishing. And Bottom fishing is great, but we want to see some type of pattern associated with it. Now, when we get those topping patterns, as we just looked at, for example, inside the ES Mini out there, what does that mean to us? Now, if we take a look at the ES Mini, we'll just come back here. I'll open up now the chart. You can see both wave number seven, that's letter G out here. And it looks like if yesterday's high is not taken out, that'll confirm singing in the key of G. Uh, you've got the TD setup nine count, uh, which the high could have formed today or yesterday. At this stage here, we're calling it yesterday's high. Now, with those topping signals and patterns are in place, the first move to the downside is back to Stevie's green line, the oscillator and change line. And that's the first level of support. Testing 3052 and bouncing off of it will be bullish, even with this little topping or topping signal out here. The question is, will price be able to close below that level? Because if that level of support fails, then we have to look for what other support is out there. Now, we know that the ultimate level of support inside of the ES Mini is 29.9875. That is where price broke back, broke out. That was on October 24th. That's, in essence, where we had the continuation of that TD setup nine count pattern out there. But before we get there, Jay in the den would like to know, hey, are there any new market profiles? And it just so happens that what the ES Mini is trying to do out here, Jay, I don't know if Jay's even on the line, is form a new market profile. Here's our four quadrants where you've got the daily, that's in the upper left, the weekly on the upper right, the uh, monthly on the lower left, and the quarterly in the uh, lower right. What we're focused on right now is the daily. Now, this is a new profile that's attempting to form. For subscribers out there, know that the profile changed at about 12 noon today. So it has shifted around just as we had anticipated. But this shift is actually a bullish shift. Not a shifty shift, but a bullish shift out there. So I want everybody to listen and listen closely, okay? Yes, we've got topping patterns out there. And I don't know what this market profile is going to be at day's end. 
Right now, we have to use the information that has been provided to us. And that information is that the profile has now formed below price. That, my friends, is a bullish outcome as we speak at 1.35 in the afternoon. Let me show you what it is that I mean. Typically, when profiles form, this takes you back into the, uh, this is a, uh, how is that? How could this be daily? And it's a, yeah, this is daily. Just look, oh, there we go, okay. So I'm just taking you back to the beginning of the uh, year, okay? Uh, so to January, December, December of last year. And that's what we're looking at. What I want you to notice is when you see, and just start from the left, when you see price getting above these profiles, you'll see a new profile form. And typically price is with inside that profile. So you break above it, for example, January 30th. For several days, there's no new profile, much like what we've had here for a couple of weeks. And then a new profile forms and prices in it, such as back in February of 29th. February 7th of 2019. However, out here, here's what we can see. I'm going to take you back into this time frame. This time frame is June 7th. June 7, 2019, price closed above the daily box. This is very similar to the pattern we have going on right now. Price continues to trade above that profile until a new one forms. Well, the new one doesn't form until the day of June 24th. And price on June 24th, was above that new profile and price moved down lower basically to the top of that new profile that formed here. So this is going to be really critical for both bulls and bears out there. Yes, we've got these very valid topping signals. Remember, when you get a topping pattern, it doesn't mean we're going to 2008. It only means that what sellers have the right to do, the ability to do, what they should be able to do is push price down to support. And that's really the other element that you and I need to be perfectionists at or be proficient at, which is being able to identify patterns that identify tops and bottoms so we can do the top fishing and the bottom fishing. Then we need to understand where levels of support are. We know it's going to be Stevie's green line or red line. We know we've got the task market profiles, and then we have the TD set of nine count breakout levels. That's all that we need, and then we can manage the trade. So at this stage here, if this profile does take effect, understand this is a bullish setup as of 138 in the afternoon. Now, I can't control what sellers or buyers are going to do any more than you can. But right now, the price to be watching is 30.59, 30.59.50, really, to be exact out there. But here's what I also know in watching these profiles form below price. If price is able to close inside it, close below 30.59.50, then that tells us that a key level of support has failed, and we would anticipate a retracement, the next level of retracement, back to 3026 to 3033. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So one of our dinners wants to take a look at the Genuine Parts Company. Ticker symbol there is GPC. As we take a look at where it's trading in relationship to resistance of its TAS market profiles, it's above the daily, it's above the weekly, it's above the monthly. That says price should continue higher. We can take a look at the A to B equals CD pattern inside of the uh, daily time frame chart out here. Looks like I may need to redraw that. No problem. So let's go redraw the A to B equals CD pattern out here. The A point is going to start. Looks like down at the bar on August 26th out here. Let's go ahead and actually mark that bar. What's the deal here? Why won't it? What's the story? What's the scoop? Well, bummer. That's okay. I always have a backup plan. If I can't get this one to work, which I can't, we go to the backup plan. So the backup plan, oh, I'll click on that there. The backup plan says, let's go to Stevie's other charts. But above here, this says that price wants to move higher. Let's go take a look at the daily time frame chart using Stevie's other tools. We'll go ahead and type. So you can see when this bottoms, it bottoms with the Rhodes Momentum indicator bottom. It gives you that confirmation signal on August 28th, that little bullish engulfing candle. Now let's go draw in an A to B equals CD pattern out here. And uh, so when we take a look at genuine uh, parts, you're going to see that price looks like the next target, upside target, is the 1.272 A to B equals CD level. That would get you to 108.74 out here. See if there's anywhere we at in the uh, wave count. Looks like just wave number three. But uh, let's come back and take a look at it off of that bottom out there. Yeah, so wave count, we don't see anything there. Um, you're in bar five of a TD setup nine count pattern. Last time you got to bar nine, you saw a little bit of a pullback. Here's a perfect example of why I'm trying to make sure that each of you are very cautious. I, I've got no problems with you being short the market with all of those topping signals. But I just want you to recognize how important Stevie's green line is here when you get these valid topping signals. Here is a perfect example. So uh, Alaska Steve must have known that just to a uh, great segue. But here's your nine count top forms on October 24th. Actually, it formed on October 23rd. But because the higher high took place the following day, that still qualifies. What do sellers do? They push price down to Stevie's green line. Until you break that with consistency for two days in a row out here, that's just a test of support. And that's all that was going on inside of GPC. Folks, the, be agnostic to the symbol that we're taking a look at out here. Assume that this chart was the ES Mini. We'd be saying, in essence, the same things out there. Not that price can't push below these areas, but just know that this becomes your first target level to be watching. And if price bounces off of it, make sure that you most certainly tighten up those stops because that is a bullish indication. You put that along with the way that the profile has formed thus far. 
it's got to say you, it's got to make you say hmm something to think about so i don't see any uh, a level that we so those that's the first projection level that i can provide to you with regard to gpc let's take a look at the weekly time frame see if there's anything else that is out here other than the prior highs in the 114 area so i don't see anything getting in the way of that at this stage i i there is a bit of caution in that the oscillator and change line turned colors two weeks ago so this could say that if you see the top form in a to b equals cd as an example on a daily time frame, expect price to pull back into whatever Stevie's oscillator and change line is on a weekly basis. Right now, that was at 99.59. On a monthly time frame out here, I don't have any uh, signal for you. Nothing certainly bearish out there. So it does look like it wants to continue running higher. Just stay into this, but watch the daily time frame chart for the first bearish reversal candle. That would tell you you would have a valid topping pattern. So I hope that helps you out. Let me go to the other questions that have come in by email out here. And then uh, if there's time, uh, we'll go take a look at at and I believe that was another request for from Steve in the den. Uh, Lee writes in, he says, I'm short the spy. Uh, so let's go ahead and do that here. Let me put it in. And we've, in essence, covered that, Lee, because I really think you should be watching the ES Mini to trade that. But, you know, you're asking uh, what's the downside target. So the, the issue is that yet that downside target can occur in overnight or early morning trading hours before you might be able to get rid of SPY. But what we're watching for inside the ES Mini is 3052. That becomes the first downside target. A close below that, then says, okay, there's a second downside target. And those become the market profiles, but we'll just have to come back to those when we get there, as we get there. Now in the SPY itself, that value, okay, is going to be 304.87. So there's your valid TD setup nine count pattern. You can see Stevie's green line. It's 304.87. You're trading at 306 and change right now. It looks like 306.89. That would be the area that I would be watching. However, a lot can happen in overnight hours. You can get the test and rejection of Stevie's green line, and then it could be back off to the races to the upside. But uh, you ask for the SPY number, that becomes the first SPY number, 304.87. Uh, just for blanks and giggles out here, if I put the uh, SPY up just to see if there's a new profile forming here, and there's not one that shows up. But I'm using the early Doppler profile system when we were looking at what was uh, potentially forming out here on the daily time frame and that's 3059.50 uh, is the top of that profile so lee thanks for writing in i hope that that helps to answer your question we've got john in philly on the line let's go out to uh, john john thanks for calling thanks for holding how are you steve oh, i'm doing very well uh, we've got uh, snow up here at the uh, frozen tundra it is in fact the frozen tundra already Bummer. and um so I am calling to ask if you could uh, show me what clues you see to answer the question, is this bounce in the bond futures? Do you have any clues that tell you this is nothing but a bounce or possibly the start of some more significant rally? So, sure. So the, the way that I would answer that question would be to try to first figure out um, why did bonds uh, bottom yesterday? Was there any pattern that I can find in any time frame? And, and then that would then help me to answer the question more fully. And the answer to that question is yes. We saw a bottoming pattern inside the 30-year Treasury on the two-hour time frame. That valid bottoming pattern was the TD setup nine count. That's what set up the bounce. Now, what buyers are supposed to do is try to push price up to resistance. The first level of resistance was Stevie's green line. We saw price go ahead and uh, close above that. It's trading above that now. The second levels were the 120 minute time frame TAS market profiles. The 120 minute profile has a uh, bearish structure and it's right at about the high of the day. If the high of the day gets taken out, John, then what you would anticipate is this TD setup nine count is telling you that price is going to go push all the way up into where it broke down on the 120 minute time frame. That's 159 and 20, 30 seconds out there. So I would say watch the high of the day. 
if you see a move above the high of the day out here, then that says you should it should run all the way up into that 159.20. Is that a going to tell me that it's the the extent of a, a, a larger move out there? Wouldn't be able to make that conclusion until we see a close above 159.20. Excellent. I appreciate that, sir. You bet. Good to hear your voice. Stay warm. That was John in the frozen tundra, as he liked to refer to it. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. Basil Chapman has just announced a live 90-minute webinar he'll be conducting for subscribers to his daily trading newsletter, The Opening Call, which will be taking place Tuesday, November 19th from 5 till 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, titled A Comprehensive Review of the Chapman Wave Techniques and Market Outlook Ahead for 2020. This is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial to The Opening Call while gaining access to Basil's live subscriber event taking place later this month. With some stock picks up 15 to 30% this year alone, Basil will review many of the Chapman Wave techniques that helped in their successful analysis, as well as providing the sectors and stocks that he thinks will be of importance heading into 2020. For all the details, check out the opening call on the front page of TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. So Alex is uh, taking a look at uh, Apache Corp. APA is a ticker symbol. And Alex wants to know, is there a uh, price at which you could add to a long position out here? So now in Apache Corp, um, you're going to this one, you've really got to be careful with. Uh, and here's here's what here's what I see out here that I want to share with you. And it's really the center panel uh, time frame chart, the weekly time frame chart for Apache. And what we can see here is since the high that formed out on the from a weekly basis back in October of 2018. So over a year ago, what we have not seen other than for two weeks is a close above the top of its weekly profile. And right now it's trading inside the box. That took place the week of uh, September 23rd and the prior week, September the uh, 16th out there, beginning September the 16th. So it's really important for your long trade in this to start seeing price close above and stay above for more than two bars out there, uh, 2542. 
that is a key level of resistance. Where is it that you could buy? Let's just say that you're that, that you're absolutely correct that being long Apache Corp makes sense. Where is it that you could add to it? Well, if we look at our daily time frame profiles out here, we can see prices trading above the top of the box. So old resistance at 2263 could become new support. So 2263 is a logical place for you to look. If price gets back inside that profile, you would anticipate a move down to 2096, maybe even 2054. If I look at my other chart out here, my other daily time frame chart, the other logical spot to add would be 2281. Now, this is not really the way that I like to do or use the A to B equals CD tool. And I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to draw the A to B equals CD pattern out here. Um, and you can see that it yesterday completed the 1 to 1 1.272. I say completed because it generated a bearish engulfing candle out here. So it is a valid topping signal. And they should be able to push Apache down to 2281, Stevie's red line. Boy, folks, time just flies. I don't think I got to all the requests out there, but we'll get to those tomorrow. Thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear, David White's up next. Tom O'Brien to take us home from 3 to 4, and I'll be back with you on Thirsty Thursday at 1 o'clock. Take care.